Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet OU showdown live for y'all today. So, as I'm recording, as I'm recording, it is a Thursday afternoon. So I'm actually recording this a couple hours before I have work. Um, so I'm in a little bit of a rush, but not like a a crazy rush. So, uh, so yeah, I got some time to record. Anyways, um, I wanted to show off the Hisui and Zoroark uh, team that I had, uh, you know, teased a little bit in the previous um, Zoroark team builder, or in the, uh, in the Zoroark team builder. So, Hisui and Zoroark team builder. So, uh, so yeah, before we get started with this live, uh, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord, the Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. All my links to my social media will be down in the description bonus. So without further ado, let's dive into this team builder, shall we? Oh yeah, also, um, I'm on my way to reach my sub goal soon of 550. If we can hit 550 before the end of November, then I will try my best to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Legends Arceus using Pachirito as my starter. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's just a, a little promise that, uh, that I'll try and keep. Anyways, so here's the team. So we have Iron Jugulus, got Dragonite, Armor Rouge, Great Tusk, King Gambit, and then last but not least, the future Mon, Mama. So, so here's how this team works. This team is a very, um, I wouldn't say it's hyper offense. I would say it's more, it's in the middle between bulky offense and hyper offense. It's just offense. This team is just offense, right? Um... The idea behind the team is basically to use Jugulus as, um, or basically to uh, get as much momentum as, or get as much momentum as early as possible, and pretty much just break through my opponent's team. That's the idea behind it. I have two of the Paradox Mons running booster energy, so this gives me some speed control right off bat. Um, Jugulus is actually a very underrated uh, Paradox Mon because it's one of the few, well, not one of the few, but it's very fast, but also it's also fairly powerful as well, being base 122 and special attacks, so it can definitely do some damage. But the thing to really note is that it's a very good anti-offense lead. So you can use it to stop things from getting up hazard, stop screens from going up, stop any of that stuff. Because um, again, pretty much the common screen setters are going to be slower than Jugulus. So being able to stop them from getting up screens up or, doing any, or getting any kind of momentum going early is pretty much the key with Jug. So we break things so we can break leads early off and then just get as much damage as early as possible to open up for the rest of the team. So it's got Dark Pulse, Hurricane, Taunt, and Flamethrower. Dark Pulse is fairly free in the meta. Um, of course, there are some checks to it, like, you know, King Gambit, Samurai. Not really Samurai, but you get what I mean. Um, Hurricane covers for said Dark Checks. So again, we hit uh, Samurai. We hit uh, other things as well in the tier. I mean, like, Flying Stab is always going to be good no matter what. So it covers for a decent chunk of the meta already. Uh, Taunt's going to be there to stop again screens from going up. So it stops screens, it stops webs, it stops all that stuff from uh, from happening. Flamethrower is going to be there to cover for the uh, steel types and also the grasses as well. Mainly for the steel types though. So handling things like, uh, like King Gambit, um, which we actually can check by the way since we are part dark. So we can take a dark pulse. We can take a, a dark move from it, which is very nice. We may end up forcing a tear on King Gambit, but more than likely it'll just stay in and probably just... Get as much damage as possible before it goes down or again we force a terror which is what i prefer to do <laughs> so um so yeah um but yeah like i said flamethrower covers for all the grasses and the uh and steels and whatnot and uh and yeah so that's pretty much going to be jugulus's uh main main role as elite next is going to be dragonite so dragonite's going to be choice banded so choice band dragonite's going to be running oh excuse me it's going to be running outrage e-speed earthquake <coughs> sorry i ate earlier um <laughs> Uh, Outrage, E-Speed, Earthquake, and Low Kick. So, Outrage is fairly free uh, to, to use in the meta. Granted, there are like a thousand Fairy types here. <laughs> I'm kidding, there's like five of them. But even still, um, I think Dragonite uh, is fairly free to just spam Dragon moves once the Fairies are gone. Or we force a Terra on said Fairy. E-Speed is going to be there to chip off or to clean up things in the late game. Especially once, once, in, once things have been, you know, like weakened to a point where E-Speed is able to just clean up Mons in the end. Um, Earthquake covers for the grounded mons, and low kick is there for King Gambit and other dark types in the tier. 
Also, it does cover for the heavier mods as well, like for example, uh, Walking Wake. This cover for Don Dozo, covers for um, this other heavy mod, uh, Tenglu as well. So, it covers for all of them, which is very nice. Then we have Armor Rouge. So, Armor Rouge is, fun fact, this is the first time that I've actually used any of the, um, I've used any of them. You know, the Sarah Ledge, I have, these are my first time actually using, I think it is. Pretty sure it's my first time using this. It was my first time using Armor Rouge in general. Um... This mod, I was very anxious about using because it's, um, because, I mean, just like Cyrilage, right, it's a mod that, uh, you know, you want to have a sash with, at least, but, um, Armor Rouge is a bit more customizable due to its, you know, defensive tankiness, but also, um, or really its defense, its defensiveness. It can take hits fairly well on both the physical side and the special side as well, um, Comparing to armor, comparing to Sarah Ledge, which has a better spadef stat compared to its defensive stat, um, but Armor Rouge being you know a little bit more physically defensive, it can actually take a hit a bit better and has better chances for setup potential. Um, so I'm gonna be running the uh, the dual dance set with Calm Mind, uh, with Calm Mind Iron Defense plus weakness plus weak armor. So with this with this coming into uh, with this working for Armor Rouge, basically we can take at least one super effective hit. And be able to get our speed boost going early, or get our armor rouge, um, or get our weak armor um, popped early, and then we can just start setting up at that point. So we already get a plus two boost right off bat, and we can also get an iron defense boost off uh, right off bat as well, or even a calm mine into said into said boost right there. And then pretty much at that point, um, armor rouge is free to just spam or to spam a aura sphere and store power. I'm running Terra Fairy on here to be my dark check, uh, just so that we can get through King Gambit and also get through like other. Um, dark spam users as well, and uh, and yeah, next is gonna be Great Tusk. So Great Tusk is gonna be rocking the uh, again a lead set with Stealth Rock, Heavy um almost a Heavy Slam, Headlong Rush, Rapid Spin, and Ice Spinner. So Ice Spinner is gonna be there to get rid of Rillaboom's you know stuff, get rid of its uh, terrain. If we can get rid if we can get rid of the terrain early, then that's gonna be very solid for the team. Uh, Rapid Spin is there to get rid of hazards. Um, as you can see, half my team does not like hazards, so we need to we need to make sure we get rid of those rocks as soon as possible. And then headlong rush is just free in general. Uh, we just get a lot of damage on whatever would come in, um, you know, barring it be like a a mon that's not levitating or a flying type. So headlong rush is free on basically everything outside of that. And uh, and yeah, again, as long as we get rocks down, the rocks are very important because this puts um because this will help put on uh, my opponent. Into, range, into a range where Armor Rouge or even Dragonite can come in and clean up. Or, I mean, like, has better odds, uh, you know, after we could chip on them and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah. Then we have King Gambit. So, King Gambit is King Gambit. You don't have to know any more about that. It just does what it does. It sword stances up. It destroys things, and that's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm running Lumberry with it, though. So, with Lumberry, we have at least, like, a way to get around, um, you know, burns and status and whatnot. And then King Gambit can just do King Gambit stuff. And that's what King Gambit does. Next is going to be, I mean, lastly, is going to be Mama. Mama the Asuian Zoroark. So, let me, let me tell you how Mama works, right? So, this is, how Mama, this is how Mama works. Basically, how you want to use Zoroark is you can kind of play it off as, again, an early lead. You can play it off as an early lead or you can use it in the late game. I'm um, pairing it with King Gambit. Now, I think King Gambit and Zoroark in the end game is actually pretty dangerous because your opponent is basically forced into kind of a 50-50 kind of um kind of situation um depending on if they have a fighting type or not if they have a fighting type then Zoroark will more than likely win in that case if it's a dark type then well again um if they have priority then it's done but if it doesn't have priority then Zoroark just beats that with a focus blast or again flamethrower for chip just put it into king gambit range and whatnot um, but yeah, overall, you can have this, you can have it either, um, you can have it either as a lead, pairing it with Jugulus, or again, you could have it as a, as an end game pairing it with King Gambit. It, it works either way. Um, but yeah, I do like this one as a way to just break open teams early. It's not meant to be a sweeper, it's meant to be a wall breaker, so just, just note that with, uh, with Zurich. It's meant to be a wall breaker for this team. Um, the sweepers really come down to King Gambit and Armor Rouge. Those end up being the sweepers for me. Um, yeah, those pretty much these two end up being the sweepers for me. And again, you'll understand once you see 
But uh, but yeah, and then you know, Great Tusk and Jug are more like the wall breakers. Or more, I mean, Jugulus, Great Tusk, and Mama are more like the wall breakers. And then Dragonite's more of an end game mon. So so yeah, it really comes down to these three in the end game, depending on the matchup, of course. And uh, and yeah. So overall, I do like the synergy of this team. The synergy works fairly well, fairly well around around everything. Um. And uh, and yeah. So that's gonna be that. Let's dive in. And let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely kind of nervous about it. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I have no idea how well this is gonna go. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes well. I really am. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get another beat real quick. Let's go with um, actually I'll go with this. Let me unloop that, and then I'll just go with this one right here. Um, but yeah, I hope you all been having a good uh, or having a or that you guys are having a uh, a good today's Thursday, a good Thursday, or plan on having a good Thursday. Or, you know, are waiting for tomorrow. Either way, <laughs> hope y'all are enjoying yourselves out there and whatnot. Um, again, my day's been pretty chill. Just uh, just been at home, really. Like I said, I'm, I have work um, soon. Not soon, but I have to get ready for work in about an hour or two. So I just want to get this live out the way before I actually have to go. Um, also, I hope you guys I hope you guys did like the, the, uh, the thumbnail for this video, too. Um, I made that, so. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Um, my opponent has screens. I love that. So, when I see screens, you know what I think? Honestly, I'm not going to lie. This shit's annoying. <laughs> this shit's kind of annoying. I might just leave Great Tusk and get Roxy on because two of these mons here, unless they're boots, they uh, they get messed up. Now, I know Rillaboom is going to be annoying, but I think Rillaboom's just going to be a sweeper. I don't think it's going to do anything else. Um, Yeah, I don't see it doing anything else for this guy's team. Just kind of a sweeper. Maybe, actually, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a wall breaker, if anything. This looks like a wall breaker to me. I don't think you'd be a sweeper here. You already have two of these sweepers. We already have, like, three sweepers already. And, again, you have the set of potential, too. But then again, nah, it's five. It's, like, four of them. Four of them are sweepers. And then this is probably going to be, like, what my Great Tusk is, too. So, let's see. How to get around this thing is a lead. Because you're annoying. Um, Well, we can't be taunted. We can taunt them. Unless they have Spirit Break, I should be okay. Usually they do. So... Yeah, you're gonna be a, you're gonna be annoying. Hmm. I'm gonna lead Jugulus anyway. I'm expecting them to lead with this, and we're gonna have Mama be Zor be a uh, King Gambit in the back, so that we can mess up these three. Mostly, mostly the Great Tusk, if anything, in case it like, it's not gonna be a lead. It's not. It's gonna be it's gonna be a uh, Grim. So, so yeah, I'll just have it uh, be disguised as Mama, and we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Um, if you're like you know whatever, then fine. I'm just gonna hurricane. Hurricane's safe on everything actually, so this is free. I wonder why they lead Yon Mega though. That's very interesting. Okay, so speed boost. Um, what could you tear into right now? I don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters what you tear into. Um. They go king, cool. All right, nice. That's some good chip right there. I'm just gonna flame through here for the chip. All right, cool, nice. And that's fine. That's definitely fine. We're not gonna die to sucker punch. So just in case you try and do some weird shit, I'm just gonna dark pulse here. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, I'm so happy you threw away King Gambit. <laughs> Bro, y'all have no idea. <laughs> you guys have no idea how how happy I am that he threw away King Gambit. That's like the greatest thing ever. He threw that mon away like it was. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Okay, great. Um, why did he throw away King Gambit? Is this not a screen set? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna keep Jugulus in the back. Um, the only the only move I see happening here is you know, Grassy Glide. <laughs> so um, let's see. Maybe I should just sack it right because I mean I already got what I needed there. I'm not gonna outspeed Yon Mega next time anyway, but it could still be good for a like for like a cleanup later. So, hmm. I'll just hit it anyway. Maybe we'll do something stupid. Okay, that's fine. And that seems to be banded more than likely. So I think what I'll do now is hmm. so unfortunately, if he Terra's here, it's bad. 
but it's not the worst thing in the world either. Um, I probably could just go Great Tusk. Because, again, Great Tusk can live to hit. But if he Terra's, then I can just set up with Armourage at that point. Well, actually, not, not exactly, but... Um, hmm. I'll go Great Tusk anyway. I want to see if they actually do Terra. If they Terra, they Terra. So they... I don't know what they are, but they're... Uh, oh okay that's fine that's that's fine with me then um i'll get rocks up for the uh for that this is fine um i don't exactly like this though but if you got rocks down for the others so i'll take that i'll just go for heavy for a headlong rush and get a chip here bulk up okay oh so this is oh you're not screens that's that's great actually <laughs> that's really good um that's, that's very good actually um, I'm just gonna hit a long rush again. Give as much damage as I can on this. All right, cool. The spear break there. Um, <laughs> all right, y'all want to see something? Y'all, all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Ah, uh, great. <laughs> all right, so that comes in. I'm just gonna shadow ball. <laughs> Yeah, this is going great. CC? Oh, okay, you know what? That's fine. I just needed that to happen. So now that we got that out the way, um, hmm. let's see. Armourish can live a hit. I could definitely tear it here and I'd be fine, but I have to be very cautious about that, uh, about that Rillaboom right there. Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. The Great Tusk is very interesting here. I feel like I could just e-speed this and drop it, but I really don't know. Um, hmm. I'm definitely a little cautious about the uh, about the other two right over there. But I know Dragon, I can clean these up. So, hmm. I think I'll be okay. I can just tear this thing. Tear and e-speed that. That should take out Great Tusk at 26. If it lives, I'll be surprised, but I feel like it won't. Yeah, okay, good. Don't have to deal with that guy. And now we have Dragonite in the end game for the other two here. I don't care what this is. I probably should care though, but I don't. So maybe I should care a little bit. <laughs> maybe I should care a little bit. I may end up needing a King Gambit anyway. Um Armourouge has better odds here, I think. The only play that happens here is Flamethrower, so. Hmm. Do I throw away? I don't really want to throw away King Gambit. I need that. But I don't want to throw away Armourouge either. But at this point, I think I'm going to have to. I'll just throw it away. Let's see what they do. They Fire Blast. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to go for a. Uh, I'm just going to Iron Defense here. Okay. I probably could have just call Might there, actually. <laughs> call Might was fine. I'm all Call Might now. They go Rillaboom. All right, cool. Um, I'll definitely have the knockoff here, and just to make sure, and we'll be faster than Yamega, I think after this, so I can just go for a uh, for a store power here, and I'll be all, and I'll be all right. All right, because we'll live that they die, and at this point, I think we're good to go. Uh, this is not outspeeding me. Actually, it might. No, it's not. It's not. It goes. It goes. Um, it's four twenty six, so we outspeed that and take it out. Goodbye, and that should be the game. Yep, GG's to my opponent that played that fairly well. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be just a standard, uh, you know, Grim Snarl stuff, but, yeah, you guys got to see some, uh, got to see Zora put in the work. Mama putting in work. I'll, um, let's go with, hmm, I'm gonna find a beat that can just stay. I'll just go with this one. Alright, so here we go. Let's get another game going, shall we? <clears throat> Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, I don't know what this is. Um, let's see. So they got some very standard stuff. We gotta break that king. I mean, king can get broken pretty easily. We have like three things to handle it. It's actually more than three, but um, that should be fine. Armor is just gonna destroy him, so that's gonna be a lot of fun to see. King Gambit's whatever. Uh, we can handle King Gambit with the. Uh, the combination of uh, Great Tusk and Mama. 
So it's going to be all right against, I mean, I'll be all right against those two or against that. Um, Samurott, I feel like might be scarfed on this. I don't know why. Either scarf or it's going to be like a wall breaking one. That's what I feel like. This what this, that's what this looks like to me. Um, but yeah, uh, Jug is in a bad lead, like always, <laughs> like last time. I think I can lead Jug and feel pretty safe about it. Great Tusk, I think it's going to be better as a breaker. So I'm going to use it as a breaker. I'm not going to lead it with rocks. I'm not, I'm not going to lead it to rocks here. There's no point in getting up rocks anyway, because I mean, the only, it's only going to affect, um, it's really just going to affect an Amorous, because a lot of the time, Glow King, uh, that's what I call Slow King, uh, Galarian Slow King, a lot of the time it's been, it's been usually boots with momentum with chili reception, so rocks don't usually help in that scenario. Rocks may help against King Gambit, it's, it's, it may help against King Gambit, but like the chip doesn't matter too much. Well, actually, that's, that's not, that's a lie. Chip is always going to matter, especially in this kind of metagame, so. Rocks are still okay, but again, it only helps against, like, the, it only helps against, like, three, like, two resists, and then one that's going to, like, try and avoid it and whatnot, so. So, yeah. Hmm. Also, Dragonite's kind of nice with Outrage, actually. Just gotta get through, uh, oh, I mean, gotta get through, you know, the, uh, the Enamorous, though, which we can do that pretty much with Armor Rouge or even with Jug. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna lead Jug anyway. I'll lead Jug and I'll have, um, Zorak be King Gambit again like last time. And we'll go from there. Okay, they let, they let Enam. We could Terra Fly this thing and just take it out right now. Definitely not a bad call, but I'll just hurricane for the damage. It'll be all right. But uh, you know what? No. Now nah, I'm gonna get as much damage as I can on this. I might rather just break this open as early as possible. But then again, I don't know what Terra it could be for King. The King Terra matters a bit more than the other two. Well, King, well, Glow, well, Glow King's Terra matters more anyway than uh, than King Gambit's Terra, in my opinion. Um. I don't really want to waste this, but I'll hurricane anyway. Okay. We probably could have killed that if we tear it there. I should have went for it. <laughs> I really should have went for it because it was free. Um, but that's all right. We know there's Scarf, though. So what I can do now is go into Arm Rouge and just Iron Defense here. This is very safe. This is super safe here. So I can just Iron Defense here. I doubt this is this is like Boots Calm Mind. That doesn't make any sense here. You need some kind of speed control to handle val can't handle Valiant, because otherwise, I mean, I guess you have King there anyway. Oh, okay. Wait. Is it spec? Oh, it's specs. Okay. So it's specs then. Um. All right. Let me take that out. That was definitely a waste. <laughs> That was a big waste right there, but it's fine. Um, they are going to go into the gold and just Shadow Ball me. I don't care. Uh, I can definitely go into Mama here and just Shadow Ball back. Or just go King, but King is definitely not the play. Man, <laughs> that sucks. Hmm. I didn't think they play Enamor. I didn't think they'd, uh, they'd do that with Enamorous, though. Show for the tear and just took out the enamorous. It's fine. Um, I can't do anything else with armor rouge though, so I'll just sack it. All right, so it's faster, which is good to know. So that means that it's either. I mean, I don't know what it could be, but more than likely, it's uh. What's well, offensive, definitely. So the thing about going. I'm gonna bait him. Let's bait him here. So we're gonna bait him to go into to go into King Gambit. Now this is a very crazy bait, but it's a very easy bait to make. If we take out King Gambit, <laughs> then we're in a great spot. We gotta we gotta we gotta do some crazy shit here. I'm 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 totally okay with doing crazy shit here. Bruh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not a play. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nah. Nah, that wasn't a play, man. That was some bullshit. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Are you kidding me? Who does that? 
Uh, that's a terrible play. Whatever. Whatever, man. I probably could have taken out that goal, though. I should have just went for it. I should have just went for it. That's all right. Um, at this point, I don't really see much of a way to get around this. I think I just have to tear and just pray. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, my I should have just went aggressive. I should have just said, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just going to go crazy here. <laughs> I should have went crazy. I should have just said, fuck this team. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um, okay, this guy's team. So, he has two ways of hazard removal. Why is there so much hazard removal, man? So many ways. He's got two of them. For no reason. Um, Zorark looks... <sighs> it's not a lead. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like every game I may just end up leading Jug. Jug just seems very good, no matter what. Um, no matter what scenario. It just does. So... I have no reason not to just lead it. Um, again, it beats half of the half of these leads anyway. Uh, mainly, you know, the uh, the boom, the the tus, and actually the other three too. Mostly these two more than tra more than Heatran. But um, but yeah, Great Tusk isn't a bad lead either. But again, Rillaboom just scares me. So it's it's just that simple. The Mon just scares me. Sim simple as that. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave Jug, and then I'll do the same thing like last time and have, uh, Zorark be King Gambit again. I can't believe that guy stayed in and went for Make It Rain on King, on King Gambit. That, that's, that's some insane shit, but gotta remember where I'm at. <laughs> gotta remember where I'm at, so, so yeah. I'm gonna have King Gambit last, like last time, and then go from there. So, they like King Gambit. Interesting. They, they decide, why do they like King Gambit? I was King Gambit the lead. Alright, whatever. Just flamethrower it. Oh, it's... Okay, it's very... Well, it, it just got burned, so now it's not a threat anymore. So that worked out very well. Um, They're gonna go into Heatran. I don't really care. I'm just Dark Pulse it, just in case. Okay, no, they're throwing this mon away. That makes sense. Okay, got it. So, I'll just flamethrower again. Oh, now they go Heatran. <laughs> now they decide to go Heatran. Okay, fine then. I got the damage I needed, so I'll just Dark Pulse again. Just get as much chip as I can on this. Oh, they're bulky. Fuck. That's fine. Um, That's totally fine with me. I didn't think they'd go for rocks, though. I thought maybe they just hit, but whatever. Let's keep getting chip on this. Alright, 26. They missed. That's great. Just keep doing this. <laughs> um, Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just going to go into Great Tusk now, and I'm just going to spin, because I don't respect them. So, there we go. Um, if they want to go for Magma Storm and land, fine. They do land, we die. I really wish I got rocks down still, but that's okay. We know that there's Max Bidef on this. So, uh, this is definitely a messy game. This is, like, hella messy. This is very messy. <laughs> Ugh. It's fine, though. I could probably just go Heatran. I'm going to go Dragon Knight just Earthquake. Earthquake's fine. If they want to just switch, fine. Okay, cool. Don't have to deal with that anymore. Unfortunately, I have to deal with, well, this. But I'll, I was actually going to say I have to deal with um, Rillaboom. But, but yeah, so they do decide to go into Enamorous. Um, definitely expecting a Moonblast. We can take it with Armor Rouge, but I don't know like what else it's going to do. Okay, that didn't do that much. They did get a drop. Uh, that drop is a little annoying. I'm going to Iron Defense here. All right, great. And, um, I might just, should I, should I call mind? I want to call mind, but, no, I think it's better to iron defense again. Okay, they go mouse. Okay, I'm going to call mine now. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> well, damn, that sucks. Luckily, I have Zorark to go into, so I'll go into that. And now what I'll do is just... Well, they can bite me, right? Is bite? I think bite actually drops this, isn't it? Pretty sure bite drops me. Do I want to play that game? Or do I want to go... If I go Armor Rouge, I can take the... I can get the setup there. I'm going to go Armor Rouge to get my setup. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to hit this thing. 
If they if they go for Sucker Punch, fine. Okay, great. I'm not going to deal with that anymore. Unfortunately, I have to deal with some other things, though. Like, you know... Well, Great Test doesn't matter as much. Um, if we die, we die. Simple as that. <laughs> I can't exactly stop it from, you know, doing stuff. But then again, nah. Nah, that's not, that's not true. That's definitely not true. But the only move they're going for is Headlong Rush. So... If I tear here on their headlong rush, then I get a setup going there. Um, at that point, I'm going to have to just Calm Mind. I can't really do anything else about that. Hmm. Damn, I don't want to have to do that. But at this point, I'll do it. I'll do it, because this one's a threat. Um, I'll tear here, then Calm Mind up. Are they bulked up? That's... Ugh, fuck. Why are they fast as shit? Uh, okay, whatever. Um. But we won't... We're not gonna die. But I think I have to... Fuck, man. <laughs> I'll iron defense anyway. Okay, we didn't die. Great. Unfortunately, though, I have to deal with the other shit here. But we store power that and take it out. Don't you dare be Terror Dark. <laughs> okay, they threw away Mouse. Fine. Relevant comes in to go for uh, go for some shit. Um, let's see. Yeah, can we die to Grassy at this point? Uh, yeah, whatever. Just let it go. I don't like we had to throw that away, but it is what it is. Damn, you play that really well around Great Tusk or with Great Tusk. Put Dragonite here. I could outrage Great Tusk, but it's not gonna do much damage. They may even they may even, they might even just throw this away too, to be honest. Um But I'm just outraged anyway. They did go Great Tusk. That's what I needed to see. Um great. They do get to go into an Amorous, but we got the damage we needed there, so I'll definitely take that. Um It's definitely fine with me. At this point. Um, well, I have to go King Gambit, right? I don't have another choice to make. So let's see how much Moonblast does. They're specs, it looks like. Yeah, they might be specs. I'll just Sucker Punch them for the damage. Alright, cool. Um, I did way too much. But then again, I was I was offensive. Maybe that wasn't specs. It might not have been specs. Um, I don't know. That did way too much, though. Oh, my bad. Let me check the calc real quick. Um... I feel like that, that might have been Specs. Namorous versus King Gambit. Oh, no, that wasn't Specs. That was Scarf. Damn. Okay. So then Mama won't, Mama won't die, but I don't think there's a scenario where I can just E-Speed spam. Actually, maybe I can, but judging by how much Outrage did, that's <laughs> that thing's defensive. <laughs> it's just defensive as hell. Uh, like, what the f- Like, this is a very bulky Great Tusk. It's probably one of the old- It's probably, like, something similar to the old ones. Like, the ones that were from the- That were, in the, that were like, in the beginning of the meta. Um, something similar to that, anyway. All I can do is E-Speed. So this will drop it, and then I have to deal with, you know... I'm at the mercy of Great Tusk. But I think I can get around it still. But I'm gonna have to switch into Mama here. And hopefully they go for- They do Ice Spinner, but we don't die, and we take this out. I should have went for flamethrower. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, why didn't I go for flamethrower? <laughs> well, I think at this point I can outrage spam. So I think I'm alright. But, um. Damn, flamethrower was the play to make. Oh, he threw it away. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't know what happened there, but we shot up all that. What terror are you? It don't matter. Mama did it. Let's go, Mama. Let's go. <laughs> How did that happen? Let me know in the comments below. Give me your reason why that happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't think he was thinking there. I think he just... See, if... You see, I would have just mindlessly clicked uh, Grassy Glide there. I think he might have been predicting Dragonite to come back in. That might have been his. That might have been what he was thinking, but I, I don't know. We got... <laughs> Mama got the kill. Got two kills, though. And I am very happy about that. So let's keep on going, shall we? My phone died, by the way, so I have no idea how much time I have left. But we're going to find out anyway as I look at my OBS time. It's been 34 minutes. This will be the last game for the live then. 
Okay, what is this? They are eighteen hundred. That don't that don't matter to me, bro. It do not matter. Um, Valiant scares me, but we have the best Valiant check in the game. It's called uh, Armor Rouge. Uh, Jugulus is very good. Yeah, Jugulus is very good. Actually, ju oh my god, bro, why is Jugulus so damn strong? <laughs> like, like damn, <laughs> like damn. <laughs> now, Jugulus is actually really good. Um. I can lead it and not care, or I could lead Great Tusk. Do hazards really matter here? It only it only matters for Landorus really. Land Landorus and maybe Dragapult, maybe Dragapult. Actually, Dragapult is probably specs on this. Um, this is definitely gonna be some eject pack shit. I already know or eject button shit. If I lead, if I lead Great Tusk and I get rocks down, they have no way of hazard removal, so. Something tells me that more than one mon is running boots on this team. Um, since they have no hazard removal. So they're just going to go like straight offensive then. Um, yeah, okay. Okay then. I really want to leave Jug and not care. Mm. Well, if I leave Jug, then nah. Jug, is, Jug might not be the lead. I don't think Jug's the lead actually. It's because of the Amoongus. That's why I'm a little hesitant about it um because of their eject button stuff like actually this mod can live everything i do so hmm. if i go great tusk i get rocks down but i have to be at the mercy of spore this thing's a pain in the ass okay i have to lead jug anyway and again just like last time we'll have king be a zama or a or we'll have a Mama be king. Which is... That sounds like a very strange sentence. But you get what I, you get what I mean. Um, actually, maybe... See, if I was a subset, maybe I could do it. Maybe I could do it. Um, But I can't with Armor Rouge. Which is why I'm, like, not 100% about leading it right now. Um, Yeah. Just gonna lead a Jug and then have Mama be King Gambit again. And then we'll just kind of play it by ear at that point. So let's see. Oh, he led Lando. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay. So, what does Lando lead mean? It doesn't really mean shit to me, because I can spin on everything. Well, not exactly, but you what I mean. Um. I could taunt, though. Taunt's not a bad idea. Just to stop hazards from going up, but... I feel like that's not... That doesn't matter as much. I don't think that matters as much. I'm gonna Dark Pulse this and get, da and get damage here. Oh... Oh, okay, okay, I see, um, hmm, interesting, okay, that did very little, I'm actually surprised at how little that Dark Pulse did, that might be, like, Spadef, so if you're Spadef, then this is probably defensive, so that means you actually fear this mon, um, which is very interesting to me. That's okay, then. I'll get as much damage as I can, then. Or is it better to... No, I'll just get damage off this. I could be missed. That sucks. And they went for Stone Edge, and they don't kill us, which is good. Um, But that miss is definitely tragic. Hmm. I don't want to throw this away. I'll get as much damage as I can, though, still. 40 is still good. And it does hit itself, though. So that definitely mattered. Um, Because they're max bidef on this. So, I may have to land Hurricane again, or I could just go for a Dark Pulse. I'd rather go for a Dark Pulse, honestly. Um, But I think I have to Hurricane again. So if we landed, we landed. Okay, good. So Landris is dead. We definitely got very lucky there. We got insanely lucky there. This is going to jet me. Um, that's okay. I can let this go at this point. Just Dark Pulse this. Okay. Um, so then being Jet's good. That's good to know. Um, now, I may have to do something crazy here. Actually, I don't have to. I could probably just go Great Tusk anyway and just get Rocks up. Or go Dragonite and then just low kick this. Because, I mean, the only play that makes sense is Valiant here, right? Valiant makes the most sense. 
If I go mom, I can sucker. I can focus blast that, but it's probably better to go great sus and just go for uh, go for rocks here. I don't feel that great about rocks though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but if they go into Amoongus, then that's fine. So they do go Amoongus. So, all right. I like this beat, but like it's going. <laughs> it's a little uh, I don't know. Time is a little off. Whatever. I'll let it go anyway. So. Amoongus being in here probably means that they're either just going to be red card or they're just going to eject putting out in something. Either I'll just, I'll just go for ice, for ice spinner and see. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go mama. And I'm going to click, I'm going to click focus blast, I'm not going to lie. I'll click flamethrower here. What's their play here? They're not going into any of these guys because Shadow Ball just messes them up. They did a lot, actually. Holy shit. I should have went for Shadow Ball. <laughs> Shadow Ball was safe. <laughs> Shadow Ball was so safe there. Um, Damn. Did I throw this away or no? I don't want to throw this away. This is too good, but... I'll focus blast. Yes, sir! Let's go, Mama! Let's go! <laughs> okay, Mama putting in work still. Okay, okay. All right, so we got rid of Samurai, which is great, but now we got to deal with Pult. Oh, it's... Okay. Now, the play here would be to... I have to go King Gambit. <laughs> I have to. So, I'll go King here. They go for their darts. It does no damage to me. We take this out with Katow on their uh, on their Wisp. So, you got a Wisp here, right? Yeah, they're... Actually, I can Iron Hit. What the fuck? I can Iron Hit here. That's safe. That's very safe. Because the only one that makes sense is King Gambit. Or is, uh, is Valiant here. So, I can Iron Hit here. Come on, go Valiant. Go Valiant. Go Valiant. Please go Valiant. Please go Valiant. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. Aw, oh, shit. It's that shit. Um, that's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Well, actually, I can e-speed that, right? Um, I can e-speed that. I think Sucker Punch might drop it, though. I think it's Sucker Punch to kill it. Yes, I can, because King Gambit is King Gambit. King Gambit is King Gambit. I'm sorry. That's King Gambit, man. King Gambit be doing King Gambit shit. That's just what that mon does. Amoongus? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm King Gambit. I'm King Gambit, brother. I'm King Gambit. <laughs> Bro. Somebody, please. Can somebody please look at this mon and tell me that mon's not broken. That mon's not broken. I'm telling you, that mon is not broken. King Gambit is a very fair and balanced mon. Especially when you pair it with Mama. When you pair it with Mama, it's all fair. It's all fair in game, bro. It's all fair in games when you got Mama on the field with King. <laughs> Yo, this team is funny as shit. <laughs> oh, man. I regret that last game. I regret that game we lost. I really do. I really think we might have had the shot there. But holy shite, man. Holy shite. Uh, King Gambit is dumb still. <laughs> What's the... What's a dragon to a king? <laughs> nah, nah. Somebody get this mon. Somebody get this mon. And somebody, like, somebody got it. <laughs> Can somebody get this mon right here? This mon's a problem. I repeat, this mon's a problem. Can somebody please take care of the King Gambit? <laughs> this shit is insane. We had 1700, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be that for the showdown live. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord, the Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. If you want to see more of Mama, then, you know, just, just make sure to keep liking the video and whatnot. And I'll do my best to bring Mama out and have Mama put on a show. That sounds wrong. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be that. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, be safe. Wash your hands. And I will see you for some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Showdown Lives. Peace out. Also, again, subscribe. On my way to reaching my sub goal of 550. If we can hit 550 before the end of November then that'll be pretty cool. And uh and yeah, shout out mama, shout out King, and shout out Jug. They all went crazy here. Oh my god. Bro, Jug is this mo this one's insane. Also, I, I really do apologize to my opponent. Uh that that sucks. But then being Spadef Lando is very interesting because you know Spadef Lando was something that was seen a lot last gen because it pretty much covered for in a s well it took a hit from Specs Pull. It did like forty at most. And to be able to, to force a knockoff on it. Um, also, you know, you had Toxic stuff as well. U-Turn stuff. So, it's kind of funny that Lando, now that, you know, Glasgow is dead. 
uh, rest in peace, Glasgow. Now that Glasgow is gone, Lando just. I don't think Lando's gonna last. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really do think that this Mon's like utility move for getting gutted kind of makes it less viable right now. And that's why you don't see it. At, that's why you don't see it anymore. At least on like a higher level of play, you don't see it as much. Um, but yeah, I I don't know, man. It's definitely sad to see Landers where it is though. Um, but yeah, my bad. Sorry, just going off topic. Be safe, watch your hands and peace out.